By the 1950s, over half of all American families owned a TV set, and the Blackwood Brothers made history by becoming the first gospel group ever to appear on national television, winning first place on one of the era's most popular shows, Arthur Godfrey's Talent Scouts. No doubt about it, the boys were on top of the world. Little did they know that in just three short weeks, they would plummet from the peak of elation into the depths of despair. In 1954, the group made plans to fly the quartet plane to a concert date in Alabama. Just before taking off, pilot R.W. Blackwood drove his young son Ron to a baseball game near the airport. The weather was beautiful, not a cloud in the sky, and yet somehow the boy sensed danger. He waved at me as he left, and I watched him as he went down that park. I just stood there with my glove and my ball. And I had this, I don't know what, why, but I just had a strange feeling. Didn't know why, but I watched him till the car disappeared. So I went on playing my ball game. And uh, the ball game was almost over. And that was back in the days when they didn't have the laws and rules against buzzing the town with a plane or something. People did it all the time. Well, here I saw the, this plane coming. Of course, I looked up and saw a daddy. And he flew down like that and dipped his wing at me, like that. And when, he, when the plane went over, I could see him looking out. I could see just a part of his head. And they took the flying back and went and did it like that. And the last time I ever saw him. 46 years. And I still. R.W. Blackwood and Bill Lyles were on a collision course with Destiny. But first, there would be one last concert. At a peach festival in Clanton, Alabama, the Blackwood Brothers Quartet sang their hearts out for the Lord. Now, good night. May God bless you all. The crowds begged for more, but the boys had made plans to fly home that very night. So they took their final bows and headed for the tiny dirt airstrip just outside of town. Before they loaded everyone on board, RW and co-pilot Bill Lyles decided to take the plane up for a flight test, and they weren't alone. A local teenager named Johnny Ogden asked to be taken along for the ride. Unfortunately, the singers agreed. In an instant, half the Blackwood Brothers Quartet was gone. R.W. and Bill Lyles had brought so much joy and laughter to the group. It was impossible to imagine what life would be like without them. As news of the crash spread, family, friends, and fellow musicians struggled to come to terms with what had happened. When Daddy died in the plane crash, um, I was 13 years old. I took it pretty heavy because he was my hero. They came over the news service, and uh, you, you know we, we just and, and we had just seen uh, R.W. and Bill, uh, maybe not more than a month before that. I truly was heartbroken because I just there was nobody like R.W. Blackwood. There is no night for in his life you never. The Blackwood Brothers Quartet was reborn with J.D. Sumner singing bass and James' nephew Cecil Blackwood on baritone. Their first concert together was scheduled for Clanton, Alabama, the site of the plane crash. This was about a, a month and a half after the plane crash, and right back to the airport hangar, we did a concert without even rehearsal. Bill Shaw, James Blackwood, Cecil Blackwood, J.D. Sumner, Jackie Marshall's piano and that started our career back up there at the airport with several thousand people there to hear us. And Elaine Blackwood, R.W.'s widow, Ruth Lyles, Bill Lyles' widow, they were there and the kids, we introduced them. But I remember being there, I remember 
them introducing Cecil, but I think the one that got me the most was J.D. Sumner. All I know is I saw a guy just stand up, looked like he, looked like he went all the way to the top of the mountain, as big as he was. J.D. Sumner built a bridge that night to R.W. Sun Run, establishing a loving bond that would last for the rest of his life. He said, nobody could take your daddy's place. He said, I'm here to help. And J.D. was my friend the day he died. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. We're mighty glad to see this great crowd here tonight. Gathered here for some great gospel and spiritual singing. We hope you'll enjoy the numbers we have for you. And we're going to start things off in a kind of a lively way by singing for you a rolling, a riding, and a rock. Rolling, 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 got my ways I am and rolling soon I'll reach my home and head and by and by I'm lying when the tip of sauce near me I have right my feet and cheer me I am rolling, 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 rolling in the sky By and by, by and by, Lord, in the sky Soon I'll reach my home and head and by and by Rolling by, riding, riding, riding high I am rolling, I'm rocking in the sky 